Welcome to Silverstone as the International GT Open season reaches its halfway point. We've had a fantastic title fight so far between Fabrizio Cristani and Tommy Spiaggi. Phil Keane and Sean Balf are snapping their heels. Silverstone always produces some great racing for the GT cars and I'm sure this weekend will be no different. Let's take a look at the best of the action. National GT Open season reached its halfway point at Silverstone with several new entries on the grid. It was going to be an intriguing weekend of racing. The early stages of race went to the Garage 59 McLaren. Con Ledegar was sprinted clear as there were problems for Colin Noble and Sally Yulluk. Gustavo Jakman, having held a strong second early on, was quickly demoted by Phil Keane and then Craig Dolby Keane in his new Balf Motorsport McLaren. Meanwhile, Sally Ulick, after the disappointment of that early spin, was absolutely flying in the TF Sport Aston Martin. The team, of course, triumphing here a couple of years ago with Darren Turner and Jodie Fannin at the wheel. Post pit stops, and of course, the race was going to turn its head. Thomas Enger at the wheel of the Wessex vehicles, Lambian Gardo, breaking away from Alex West, and thereafter, there was some great dicing behind. The Schotters looking very impressive on his debut in the Teo Martin Motorsport BMW. Fabrizio Cristani also flying in the orange one, Lazarus Lamborghini. Schotters was able to make the move on Alex West, but West then pushed a little bit too hard and spun away his chances on the exit of entry. Meanwhile, late on, Sean Bounce was caught and passed by Ewan Hankey. Hankey completing a fantastic comeback drive for the TF Sports squad. Meanwhile, the Pro-Am class was claimed by the FF course duo Jamie Stanley and Paul McNeely. However, it was a debut win for Thomas Enger and Craig Dolby in Wessex Vehicles Lamborghini. Second place and consolidating their championship lead, Cristani and Biaggi, Miguel Ramos and Peter Schotthorst completing the rostrum. All smiles in the Silverstone podium. Great race. Um, I think I made it a bit harder for, for Thomas when I uh, I didn't get a great start, but then uh, my lap times were consistent, so we knew that we we had the pace as a whole and we had a strategy that I think we both stuck to quite well. And uh, yeah, it definitely worked out well at the end. And Thomas, uh, it seems that the Gallardo is still uh, competitive. We know it's competitive. We knew it before, and we know now. Everybody saw it. I mean. Uh, we worked hard yesterday on uh, race setup, and we didn't uh, even try to go for you know for fast lap time. This morning, great made a fantastic job in qualifying, and uh, I think because we had really great setup, great team, thanks to Nigel Mustil and right engineering, we uh, we had a car to beat in in, in the race, and uh, I'm really glad uh, that. It, uh, it wasn't easy, but I'm really glad that uh, it happened and uh, we could have celebrated our first win. A phenomenal lap from Jamie Stanley in the FF course Ferrari gave him a pole for race two. As he led into the first corner, clear of Ewan Hankey behind. There was some brilliant dicing. The Raw Motorsport radical Tom Ashton and Rob Weldon have been showing strongly. They were duelling with Sean Bow. Meanwhile, Duncan Tappy was trying to stretch the field in the Garage 59 McLaren. He brought with him Fabrizio Cristani and Peter Schotthorst for company. Post pit stops on the course, there was plenty of action to enjoy. Michael Benham picking up where Duncan Tappy had left off. And Gustavo Jakman in absolutely feisty form. As Paul McNeely did a fantastic job of defending in the FF course Ferrari. Fortunately, Eventually the flood gates opened. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, Sally Yulin had inherited the lead from Ewan Hankey. Thomas Biaggi pushing very hard to overhaul Miguel Ramos. So we're into the second half of the year. Championship points are all important, and particularly Biaggi and Phil Keane knew that they need to finish ahead of each other. 
So it was a day, it was a maiden victory in the International GT Open for Sally Yuluk and Ewan Hankey, repeating the triumph of a couple of years previously from the TF Sport team. And then on the line, Gustavo Yakuman took second place by six thousandths of a second from Michael Benham. It was a truly fantastic race. So Hankey and Yuluk winning it from Yakuman and Monier with Benham and Tappy completing the podium. For me, it was uh, it was good. Obviously, had a had an interesting start, and then I just tried to keep up with the Ferrari. I mean, the, the car's super fast in a straight line, so I was just doing my best to try and make a big gap from the guys behind. Um, I knew the Ferrari had a bit of a penalty, so I just put in every lap it was a quali lap. Tried to keep up with him, handed it over to this guy, and wow, what can I say? Sal just drove an amazing drive. I'm so 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 proud of him. Yeah, that's right. This guy made it. Uh very well in the final stint, almost easy or? Oh well, he made my job much easier actually by putting uh, a big cup uh, behind, the guy, behind the guys. So uh, yeah, it was relatively easier than yesterday, but uh, we, are, we are so happy at the end, especially after uh, how the race went in yesterday. A look at the standings with Cristani and Biaggi now building a comfortable buffer the top of the table from Keenan Bell. Mick Ramos in a solid third and Sally Yuluk and Ewan Hankey nor Gustavo Yakman and Fernando Monnier should be discounted. It's going to be a thrilling conclusion to the season.